I honestly don't get how, especially, you know, Africans, Caribbeans, maybe Jamaicans too, I don't get how most of us don't respect boundaries or other people's boundaries. Like, really? Like, one time I had this person try to call me, like, on weekends, like, literally, very early in the mornings. And I'm like, you're calling me at 7.30 on a Sunday morning or even Saturday? Like, I don't pick up. Leave me a text. Never left me a ma message or a text. And sometimes I'll wait and I'll text and I'll say, hey, I miss, I saw your missed call. I will call you back. Or the ones that will call you right in the middle of a weekend day. Like, it's a weekend. Like, hey, where are you? I've been trying to reach you. Or the ones that will call you one or two times. They don't, don't, don't pick up. They don't text you to say, hey, I was thinking about you, checking on you. It's busy out here, y'all. And they just show up at your house, at your apartment. They come knocking. Hello, are you there? No respect. Or the ones that say, when you have boundaries, you are disrespectful or you're too much. Or you're just, especially if that person is a place of leadership, they expect you to pick up or jump when they call. Like they think it's disrespectful that you have your phone on. Do not disturb. When it's after five, after six, or on the weekend, or you just literally don't want to be disturbed because you've been tapped out through the week. Self care is real good for you and your mental health. So, setting boundaries is good for you. So, you can meditate, you can go for a walk, a hike. I don't understand. Especially, this comes a lot from the elders. <laughs> so, these people are supposed to know better. But they didn't grow up with what boundaries looks like. Or even when your kids are in their room, like teens, they like being in their room. I give my teen respect when she's in her room or he's in her room. And I expect the same from her. I don't go budging and it's like, this is my house. You don't close the door over here. No, you show your kids what boundary is and what boundary looks like. So you respect the space and they respect your space. Then eventually they start respecting and knowing what boundary looks like. You don't just talk the talk. You walk the walk. I'm just saying, I don't know why our people don't seem to like boundaries or know that as, after a certain time, you're not available. They want you to be available all the time. Like, the, especially the ones that just show up at your house. Like, look you up or something or look for somebody else, ask you for their phone number or their address. I've had that actually two times. I had somebody just show up at my house. It was towards like the late fall, winter. It gets dark like 4.30. And it was a guy. And I'm like, where did you? I haven't even seen that person in years. Oh, I was worried about you. I haven't seen you in a long time. So, so, and so gave me your number. And I got my your address. And I'm like, first of all, why is that person even giving out my address? This is where you, you know, downgrade from. You are category A and category B and C. So your level of friendship to me is now from A. Now you're all the way to C or F. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But boundaries is so in alignment with self-care. And your space and what you treasure. When some, you feel like somebody just like literally disses that or don't want to hear you and they just show up or just want to come to your space like that without notification or nothing. I mean, there are people who may be okay with that. It's all about the brotherhood or the sisterhood or, or all that or family. All those people budging your spaces when, you, you know, the rubber hits the road. Will they be anywhere to be found? That's a question. So what are your thoughts? Boundaries, the lack of boundaries, especially maybe in our communities of color, immigration, immigrant communities, church communities, Christian community, whatever communities you are, the lack of boundary, respect for boundary is insane. 
play a lot of times after five on the weekends and leave on do not disturb duck mode i am not dark i have cold things sometimes but a warm heart we gotta work to protect ourselves and protect our environment but not everybody aligns like that so embrace the uniqueness of you and if you can whip it in your do not disturb mode you can whip it everywhere else in your life bye